everyone it's your girl new now Zaru. and first of all let me just say thank you for clicking onto my channel well i'm going to be doing these nails these are the double mint gum nails and i did try these before like when i first started doing the nails the nail tutorials and stuff and yes they was hideous however as time went by i've gotten better so um it's so a year i'm going to be using just basically um base coat and top coat and four cover um nail tips that i purchased from amazon so um so yeah so first i'm going to i don't think i showed you guys but I did prep my nails off camera. I had foul, alcohol, um, push back the cuticles, and all that other good stuff. And then I took my, I think I did to show the part with me, with the dehydrator and the primer. So I'm trying to be very careful not to get these on the side walls because I love the shape, the shape of these nails. So I didn't really want to do too much fouling. I did do a little, but I didn't do want to do too much. So um, I am going to have to cut the paper very small so it can fit inside of the nail. I am doing a lazy girl method. So um, first I'm taking that base cold and um, just putting it in the inside of the weather the nail I don't know how to say it but anyway and I um, I use the lamp to you know make sure that it's you know sticking to the nail so let me see and I'm going to be cutting gum as well. I took a half a stick of gum and I cut it into, I think I did one, two, two like decent sized pieces and one small piece. And so I do love these nails. I wish they was a little bit more shiny here because I really loved shiny nails. But yeah, it, I can't get them too shiny, but it's okay. I still like them. And I also use um, red jewel pieces to place at the cuticle. And on the middle finger, I use bigger um, jewels to put um, it on that finger. Also, I did a full glitter nail using red, which met, matches the writing on the paper. And for with the pinky nail, you will see that I'm going to make that a whole um nail of just the paper the stick of the stick the paper and stick so all right y'all i'm getting you know tongue twisted and tongue tied and all the other stuff so i'm gonna let y'all watch the video enjoy the video and i'll be back on before i let y'all finish watching the video i forgot to um let you guys know that i am going to be using the bubblegum jump um bubblegum bubblegum gel from Ina Couture so I'm gonna be using the clear just to adhere them onto my nail plate so this gel you guys is the best is the best so if you all looking for something alternative to glue try the Ina Couture bubblegum gel because the set I had on, I had a hard time getting it off, and it's been on for about three three weeks. I think it's been almost four weeks, and it was very difficult to come on. I did soak them in an acetone to get them off my nail plate. So if you're looking for something that really would adhere to your nail, as long as you do a good prep, adhere to your nail this bubblegum gel is the truth it works very very well and it is not expensive you guys at all it's very much affordable 
So just wanted to let you guys know that that's how I'm going to be placing these four cover tips on. All right, now, and don't forget to subscribe. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but yes, please subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank all of my other subscribers that I have already. Thank you guys for rocking it with your girl. And to those who have not subscribed, it takes a second to hit that button. Subscribe and join the family. As y'all can see, I was really struggling on this part with this brush. I am going to be purchasing another brush soon. This brush is horrible. It's just the product is all caked up into my nail, so my brush rather. So when you see me um, keep like wiping it with that little towel thing that I have on my desk, it's because, not because the product, it's because of this brush this brush really is horrible and it was very very difficult to work with so I'm encapsulating with this clear was this clear acrylic that I purchased from Sally's purchased that from Sally's and um, I never have no problems with that clear until I start using this brush. This brush is horrible. So um, it did get the job done, but I couldn't use this. Like I can't use this on anyone. Um, as you could see in the video, I could barely use it on myself, but the brush makes all the difference in a good set. So yeah, I was really struggling, struggling with this brush, but I just needed to encapsulate it because with them big chunky pieces of gum, they needed to be encapsulated. So, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna have no bumpiness under my nails and making sure that um, none of the gum pieces was gonna be, you know, felt or shown or possibly come off. So I had to encapsulate it. So you guys, I was trying to find the, <clears throat> the first set I did with the bubble gum paper. I did it like two years ago and that set was horrible, but you couldn't tell me anything back then. But I can't find it right now. I'm gonna see if, you know, once my daughter come over, she can find it for me so I can like 
you know, insert it so you guys can see. But yeah, it was horrible. And, but it was me trying. So, but, but anyway, we look at the pictures now though and look at my old set. And I mean, I'm not saying that my work is the best, but it has gotten so much better. And that's for all the people that's newer to me, than me starting out. You guys, I see so many comments on Facebook because I'll be reading people comments after they load their stuff up. And they be like, oh, I'm giving up because this ain't working. This ain't working. <sighs> Don't give up. And don't give up because I'm telling you, I could have had that same attitude in the beginning because you don't know how many times I tried to do acrylic and I just not, I just couldn't for the life of me get it right. And now like I do it without even thinking like my acrylic game ain't no joke. The only thing that I must say that I'm still working on is my shaping and my shaping has gotten better but i'm the type of person that i like i like what i like and that what i'm trying to say is that i know a lot of people like the coffin shapes and and this shape and this shape and if they get the square they want to taper it in i really love that wide look i like the look of the square like I do. And if I do the square on my hand like that and I post it, I know I'm going to get comments saying that it's too wide or whatever. But it's too wide for you. It's not too wide for me. It's something that I like. You know what I mean? And that's not saying that I don't like um, taper squared or, or stilettos or ballerina or whatever the case may be. I like them all. But... I really do like the square look as well. You know, before, before, you know, I'm older. So I'm, I'm older. I'm in, I'm in my fifties. So my early fifties, I got to say early y'all, <laughs> but yeah, I'm in my early fifties. Actually.
at the end of the video i'm sorry i didn't talk too much through this video but yeah it's been one of those days but um if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe subscribe comment share my video gives me give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye